God's word speaks to us of holiness this morning. The holiness of Mary. This is the feast of the presentation of Mary. It's an old feast in the church. We don't have any record of it in the Holy Scriptures, but it is attested to in some old writings, one called the Proto-Evangelium of St. James. We don't know if it's really historical, but it's very meaningful. The idea is that Mary, when she was three years old, was taken by her parents, Joachim and Anne, to the temple and presented to the Lord, dedicated to the Lord. Two holy people, Joachim and Anne, saints of the old law. We are reminded that there was sanctity in the world before the birth of Christ. There was the old law, the Old Testament, which God had given to the nation Israel to be a preparation for the New Testament, the new law. There was holiness in the old law. The church recognizes Joachim and Anne, the parents of Mary, for their holiness. And then they present their child because Joachim and Anne gave everything to God. <clears throat> That's what it means to be holy, to be ready to give everything to God. We see another holy person in the Gospel reading. Again, this is a person who did not have the benefits of knowing Jesus. This is an old widow. This is a true person. We don't even know her name. It isn't given. She's simply a poor, old, Jewish widow. And Jesus sees her putting in two small coins into the temple treasury. And Jesus is amazed at the love of this woman. We realize that she put, she put in all her money. She didn't have anything left. She put in her whole possession. And Jesus marveled at the holiness of this woman. Such love for God. And she was a lady of the Old Testament. The holiness of that old woman came from the grace of God, even though Jesus had not yet died on the cross. Holiness was in the world. Of course, since Jesus died on the cross and sent the Holy Spirit and founded the church, it's easier to become holy. We have a lot more advantages. We have the seven sacraments of the church. Even, even the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist, we can receive the body and blood of the living Christ. We have so many more advantages. And yet, the holiness of this old widow, widow is something for all of us to emulate. What a beautiful act to give everything to God. It's the same act, basically, that Jesus gave on the cross. He gave everything to God. Of course, by his sacrifice, he redeemed the world. This old widow, of course, could not redeem the world, but she gave great joy to God and great admiration to Jesus Christ. Please stand now for our prayers of petition. <clears throat> 